So let me invite for the first presentation Eric Brieva, CEO at Strengths Spain. Hello, Eric, and welcome. Hello, good morning to everybody. Hello, yes, and you're welcome to start. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. A pleasure to be here with you today. Uh, let's do a very quick summary of uh, the benefits of artificial intelligence in banking and, um, and what are the ingredients, the main ingredient for uh, applying artificial intelligence in banking and, and some takeaways. Uh, so let's start by having a look at a summary of those benefits. So for everybody, it's not a secret that AI is a great uh, value for financial institutions. A summary of it, uh, it can be the, about the insights that it's able to generate and that this benefit brings benefit for both the banks and the people. It enables banks and businesses to anticipate customer needs and proactively suggest next best action. But for the people, they can receive back from the banks and financial institutions that feedback that in, it makes them improve their life to manage better their finances so to live a better life by making smarter financial decisions in a more transparent and independent way. So what are the ingredients for AI? So data is the number one, it's like the, the gasoline of artificial intelligence. And the good news is that financial institutions have trillions of transactions happening every day, and those transactions have hidden patterns and relationships. So a lot of data is there in the financial institution to process and use. Second ingredients are the AI algorithm. Today, AI is so advanced that it's a complete taxonomy of hundreds and thousands of algorithms that we can use for different purposes. We can spend um, hours uh, analyzing it and understanding those algorithms and the different models that can be created, how to apply them to the different use cases. Precisely, the next ingredient are the use cases or business cases. I think all professionals in AI that apply, that are working for banks and financial institutions and the institutions itself has a reasonable understanding of the different use cases where AI can be applied. I have a presentation on how to match business cases with the algorithm and model and the other way around. What application from the algorithm and model can be uh, used to uh, overcome the different business cases? And for a specific business case, what are the models that uh, can be used from AI to uh, solving. You can pass to the next slide, I appreciate it. So 
sorry, we're back too much. Okay. Banking platform. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Sorry, I think there is a delay between the clicker and the presentation. Okay. So um, the fourth ingredient are scientists and engineers. So banks has already scientists and engineers among their team. The thing is, what are they doing? How much time are they employing to think on which algorithm uh, will apply? Which kind of models and fine tuning those models uh, um, overcome a specific business case? That's a lot of work to do. That's a huge time employed by, by people. And even when they have, uh, are able to integrate that with the existing core banking platform or digital banking platform or uh, the open banking initiative, how can those uh, AI models be plugging into the different banking applications? So that uh, requires no more, probably years of work from, uh, for, to be. So, so the solution would be to use a predefined or existing banking platform. I will continue anyway. Uh, the clicker is still not working. I don't know if the presentation is uh, is moving. Okay, so the, the, the banking platform, uh, my recommendation is, or my question to banks is, shall we build it without a clear roadmap, without knowing where are we going? Shall we plug in from a existing banking platform, uh, AI banking platform that can be just integrated right away with my existing uh, banking legacy or uh, new applications? So that's, that's the key. My proposal is plug in. There are already many very valuable AI platforms out there that you are able to plug in with your core banking, with your digital banking, with your open banking initiative, and feed it with data, feed the existing data that you have in your existing uh, banking processes, but also you can even um, enhance or uh, augment that data with uh, uh, your open banking initiative to uh, bring information from different third parties. And a banking platform can also be increased with the number of business rules or uh, artificial intelligence algorithms and, and model that are could be also created by third parties. 
You just need to plug and play within your existing AI banking platform. So you create new models to, to offer solution for the uh, different business applications that you may face now and in the future. So what can a bank do to start with this? So use a banking platform integrated with your existing applications and legacy and use it as an out of the box, box machine learning uh, application with pre-configure of dozens of algorithms, hundreds of business rules, actionable and extendable with the capability to plug in new algorithms and rules to discover new, new actionable insights. It is important that you have in mind not only to discover insights, but also to discover what are the best actions that you can do with those insights for both your internal banking analyst and staff, but also for the online proposition that you make to your customers. This is uh, like a roadmap uh, that you can take into account for uh, when implementing a, a, a banking platform. That is, uh, I'm not going to enter into details step by step to not employ too much time to this presentation that is coming to an end, but just this is a summary. So for you to know that after implementing hundreds of AI banking platform for different financial institutions across the world, there can be a predefined roadmap of what a financial institution do step by step to have a successful AI implementation in their institution. I hope all of this has been a very uh, enlightening and good news that you can all have in mind in order to target your artificial intelligence initiative within your financial institution, particularly for uh, small and medium enterprise banking. Thank you very much.